Okay, good morning. Um, I'm overslept today, but anyway, I gotta get back out there and get that, uh, well, the tie rod end off. I just woke up. I'm gonna have some more coffee first. And, um, hopefully get that thing running. I have to go get some razor blades and household junk, and there's just no way I can get out to the store really without logically without that because I have to walk like two miles I could do it but it's just it's just really um, irritating to walk two miles just to get groceries well the truck's running my sculpting tools came in here they are I'm going to learn um, some FX type uh, Sculpting, sculpting techniques. My cousin's in the sculpting business. Uh, okay, I'm back. Anyway, um, like I was saying, my cousin is in a form of a sculpting business. He uh, builds paper mache uh, fantasy animals, and he sells them in Florida. And he, he's doing pretty good. He makes quite a bit of money doing it. You know, not not enough to live on or anything, but it's a, a nice supplement to income. And um, maybe at some point I might be helping him, or I might do some stuff on my own. But in any, at any rate, even for Kaya Robotics and Kaya Systems, it's going to be helpful to me to have the uh, know-how to get into prototype work, so that I can make some some uh, prototype configurations of, of automation systems. Anyway, these are my sculpting tools. Now here's my um, double boiler setup. I'm melting down a wax candle right now. Um, I'm basically living on a microwave and a panini grill, so I really don't have a and a convection oven, all of which aren't conducive to running a double boiler. I really need a hot plate or a stove, but the gas is off. But um. Anyway, this will work, so I'm going to make some kind of a shape to practice sculpting on with this. Give me something to do in the uh, art of configuration. There's some sites online where you can learn FX techniques, and um, it's pretty interesting stuff. Some of these guys who left Disney, I guess Disney, they retired from it or, or they weren't getting paid enough and quit um, have a lot of online um, online knowledge but of course they're not uh, giving up the good stuff like like the uh, chemical composition of Frubber for example which is used in automation techniques through Han Hanson Robotics who's uh, arguably in the lead on the robotics uh, industry which is a portion of an automation industry for what I want to get into factory automation um, but Sony is also pretty far up there who, and um, anyway I, I may post some of that stuff I may not but anyway this is my candle, and I'm melting it in a double boiler. This is my double boiler setup. The double boiler is to the point to water only reaches 212 degrees, so that's the maximum this wax will hit. So it'll never reach a flash point, so it's, it's uh, safe to melt wax this way. And it's getting harder and harder to find paraffin wax. They're coming up with some kind of wax called soy wax nowadays. And um, I don't know if that's going to work or not. So anyway, I'm at the beginning of the learning curve on this project, which is uh, one of the branches of uh, Kaya Systems. And um, it seems kind of weird, probably, but it is what it is. Anyway, it's 10 p.m. Um, today's maybe a wrap. I'm tempted to go down to Walmart and get some razors. I'm out of razors, and I'm um, out of a few other things. I may take a ride down there and do that tonight, or I may wait till tomorrow. But actually, tomorrow I want to uh, get the truck inspected first thing, assuming I can get the funding 
for the inspection money, which I'm going to hit George up for, so <laughs> and they drive him all over the place, so, you know, he can spot me, you know, 20 bucks or something like that. But that's the plan for tomorrow, and tonight's a wrap. Tonight I'll be posting this video, and I'll be posting, um, and hopefully, unless I have to edit the heck out of it to reach the 15 minute stipulation, um, I'll be posting the um, how to uh, change a tie rod end in your GMC vehicle, which is my first educational video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, you guys all have a good night, or morning, or whatever the case may be. See you tomorrow.